If the word coffee makes you think of Seattle, well, you probably don't have all of the facts. Liz Williams is the director of the Southern Food and Beverage Museum. She's quick to point out that one third of all coffee brought into the U.S comes in through Louisiana. It was here at the old governor's mansion in Baton Rouge where Williams shared her knowledge of coffee with the Foundation for Historical Louisiana. Williams says before the days of automatic drip coffee pots, making coffee in Louisiana took time and was a chance for people to socialize. Williams says that helped shape how people conducted business in Louisiana. All of the importation of the green coffee, the green coffee association that sprung up in the 19th century, the coffee exchange was here, and then it allowed us to create marketplaces all around the, um, the places that, that railroads went eventually, as well as upriver. Um, and then other things could be sold through those connections that were originally made because people were selling green coffee. In two weeks, This Week in Louisiana Agriculture will bring you our entire show from the Southern Food and Beverage Museum. To learn more about SOFAB or the Foundation for Historical Louisiana, you can visit our website at twilatv.org.